Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the collective Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to do your energy, your person's energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or the challenge here, their thoughts towards you, their feelings for you, their intentions, I have two cards, all right, page of swords with the nine of swords, and their actions. Under the deck here is the four of coins, four of pentacles with the high priestess and the two of cups. So you definitely could be thinking about a Cancer, Pisces, strong Pisces here. Um, we have the Hierophant Taurus energy, a lot of air also. We have a little bit of everything kind of showing up, except for fire, but I'm getting just a lot of different energies. I feel like things have felt kind of stuck in place for a while with you and this person. But I do feel like this person wants to come towards you with some kind of news or announcement. Okay, uh, let's pull a couple of cards to kind of see, like, what is the energy here? Tell us about this connection, please. Clear messages and guidance. What is going on for the Capricorn Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is the energy here, please? Oh, I do want to show you guys under the deck here this card that say friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So, I mean, this definitely could be a relationship that is built on a foundation of friendship. Like you and this person have really been there for each other through many ups and downs. Uh, and this person may need your support as a friend or your encouragement right now through something. For some of you, I, I do kind of feel like maybe this person has a hard time like opening up or being emotional or vulnerable. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So this person definitely could be like very uh, critical of themselves. Like I said, you are kind of seeing this as like things have been stuck, stagnant for a long time. Things haven't really moved forward. You could view your person as someone who has kind of kept themselves in a situation that is not healthy or ideal for them. And you really do. You want to help them out of it. You want them to see themselves as capable. Now in their energy with judgment, it's like this person is realizing something. This is an epiphany, a realization. It's that aha moment. Announcements. This person wants to call you. They want to message you, communicate, be very direct with you. They've come to some kind of conclusion. They see something for what it is. I mean, this person has some really big news to share with you about something. They may have ended some kind of situation in their life. Ten of Swords is under here. They've had this secret hope that potentially the two of you could become more. Something more than what you are now. Like they have to have this courage, this self-esteem to stop doubting themselves and realize that you've had these same feelings. You want more with them. They've made some kind of change in their life. Something has ended for them. That's what they want to tell you. Between you and this person, the higher thoughts. So here's what I'm not sure of. I'm not sure if you're married to this person or if you're married to other people. That's not for all of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If not that, sometimes the higher font can be seen as like a teacher, spiritual advisor, leader. Some of you could be like of similar religion or faith. Um, also, the higher font can talk about spiritual marriages, spiritual ties. But the issue with the Seven of Swords is about secrets, lies, deception, someone wearing a mask, somebody not being open or honest, especially in regards to their feelings. 
feelings they've hidden and suppressed for a long time that they want more than friendship. They see something deeper with you. And they wonder if you feel the same way. They, some of them could have been married and maybe they've always wanted to be with you or something like that. I mean, that could be really specific. Or like you work together. I don't know. Okay, this could be like so, so... This could be for like one person, okay? For some of you, this could be someone who is like a member of like your church. Or some type of like... Um, charity or something that you participate in or something that could be like so specific but when this person thinks about you they've thought about the future I'm seeing the knight of pentacles knight of coins they've thought about building security with you like this person imagines you know having pets or you know, picking out new linens for the bedroom and shower curtains and, you know, cooking breakfast together and, you know, all the, they, they picture this life, even like the mundane, like boring, so to speak, they think about these things with you and what they feel with the 10 of coins that you are their person. Some of you may feel like maybe you were married in previous lifetimes like maybe this is a past life soulmate. Maybe someone that your soul has incarnated and found in multiple lifetimes. Marriage, commitment, family, coming together, comfort, friendship. But they need to express they've had a deeper interest in you for a long, long time. And they see more with you. But their intention is to have this conversation with you, to be very direct. But before they just blurt things out, they're going to start asking you questions. They're going to start analyzing your answers. Some of you may feel like this person is kind of out of nowhere, coming out of the woodwork with like the most random questions. You know, if you, um, you know, if you could, if you could build your dream house, what would that look like? Hmm? Okay. Um, if you, if you, are you a cat person or a dog person? You know, like, they're, it's like this person is just coming up with, like, the most, you know, if you were to have some children, what would you name them? And it's like, you know, um, where would you want to send them to school? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, I mean, do you like carpet or, or wood floors? You know, like this, you, you, I feel like this person's just kind of ask, beginning to kind of ask these really, like, specific questions. And they're gauging your response to see how you're going to react to their questions or respond to their questions to see, like, you know, do you like me? Do you picture these same things? They need to know. But once they feel they have that confirmation, they're going to be more direct with you. We, I see this person opening up and expressing more feelings and interest than they have in the past. You know, I actually have always had a crush on you. You know, I... I think of you as more than a friend. Or you're the closest friend, the, the, the best friend I've ever had. You know me better than anyone. You know, I can't tell you how much you mean to me. You mean the world to me. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You know, I have this crush on you. You know, I've always found you attractive. You know, this person is beginning to kind of lay it out there in regards to their feelings, finding this courage. Also showing a lot of gratitude to have you in their life. And you've waited for this. You've waited to see like, if this person would take some kind of action towards you, make some kind of significant change in their life, put the past behind them, and begin to open up to you. You've always kind of felt that this person may have had the same or similar interest, but they always were so, like, kept it so tight knit. They kept it so closed or suppressed. And you've waited for this person to tell you. But now this person is. They're beginning, and it feels good, it feels exciting. You see a future with this person also. This is about a friendship that's deepening. Two people who have always secretly wanted more with each other. And that's finally happening. You're both opening up. Something is majorly changing. It's like someone's putting the past behind them and things are evolving. This person, they've had this epiphany. If I want to be happy, I can't keep putting things on hold. I can't keep hiding how I feel. It's now or never. I need to figure out if... Capricorn feels the same way about me or will things always stay stuck? For some of you, I'm getting like somebody even jokes about, oh, you're my work wife or something. 
but they see a future with you. They feel you just get them. You just understand them. They don't want to hide their feelings anymore. They want to take a chance. So that is what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.